I wanted to sit down today and just share some things that I'm doing in my life right now um, to help me become a better uh, version of myself. And I've already started to see some results. So I figured it would be beneficial for somebody out there. So here we are. This whole journey, this my growth journey actually started as a result of me wanting to get to know myself a little bit more, just um, really start to lean into my own as I grow older. Um, I do wanna preface by saying, in order for this to really work, if you start to discover things about yourself that maybe aren't as pleasant, you need to be willing to hold yourself accountable and just start working towards actually making those things better, actually improving yourself in those areas. Um, there's nothing more self-sabotaging or just detrimental than somebody that um, realizes that they have some excesses that they need to work on, but instead of actually putting in the work, owning it and putting in the work to make it better, they try to shove it aside and pretend um, to be something else or somebody else, or they start to blame somebody else or their environment for it. It's just like, you're not actually going to grow. And if the whole point is growth, then there's no point ignoring anything. Honestly, the truth is, I can't control a lot of things that have happened, even in my past, even in my life. I can't control it, I can't go back and change it, but I can do my best to try to change the course and change how it affects my future. So for me, that's how all of this started. Um, everything that I'm doing to change my life, it was as a result of me realizing that there's some, there's some excesses that I do have. There's some things that, there's some areas that I need to work on in order for me to actually be able to let go of that and then move in, into a new version of myself. So a little backstory before we get into my um, six tips. So 2021 to 2022, was the beginning of my growth journey personally. And it all started with me wanting to turn the start of 2022 around. So 2021 for me started really bad. It just, it was just not a great start to a year. And so as 2022 started to approach, there was a lot of anxiety that I was feeling um, just around surrounding just uh, the new year. And so I remember sitting in my apartment in December, 2021, and I was like, I got to do something. I can't just let life happen to me. Like life just keeps happening. You know, it's things out of my control. I got to do something where it's like, I'm choosing to turn things around and I'm choosing to actually start the year on a better note. And so I sat there and I just decided I booked a solo trip and I was going to Europe for the new year. And so when I was booking that, honestly, I just really wanted to change the story of how I started the year so that whenever it was 2023, I wouldn't look back and feel like my year didn't start off right or just have so much anxiety around starting the year. That was my goal for wanting to do that. I just wanted to be able to tell a different story. But I did not realize how much making that move would change my life. Like literally it changed my life. It just changed my perspective on so many things. So I went on the trip, I came back. And one of the first things that, um, one of the first impacts that it had was that I realized that, you know what, if I actually try to become intentional and I make certain decisions, I can change the course of my life. And, you know, it's, I know that was like, a, that was a very like tiny, you know, portion or a tiny fraction of like my life. But ultimately I did achieve what I wanted to achieve. Like I did not, I was on such a high just from being on the trip that when I came back, my year was starting off really, really well. Like it's not like all my problems magically went away, but at least like I felt like I did something about it to try to make my situation a little bit better. And not only that, spending so much time alone actually allowed me to see myself in a different environment and just see how I behave in certain situations I was just really able to like learn a lot about myself without 
a lot of noise that might have been there if I went on the trip with somebody else. And so that just woke, just kind of woke me up in, in a different way. I can't even explain it. And so after I came back, I became really interested in running with that feeling and just continue working on getting to know myself. So I started to, I feel like last year, like last year was my, was the year where I just really spent time with myself. There was a lot of isolation. I wasn't trying to go out. I wasn't trying to meet anybody new. I wasn't trying to make new friendships. I just, I just wanted to be in the zone and just do my own thing. And so even as I continued to do that, I started to learn a lot about how I function, how I react in certain situations, my relationships with people. I started to evaluate it. Um, I was learning more about just me just everything about me and of course as you start to um learn and you actually start to take note you will start to uncover certain things that like i said it might not be pleasant so let's go into my first point i feel like that intro was a little bit long but let's go into my first point if i look down i made a note just so i don't forget but point one that i have is practicing patience oh this is a big one practicing patience and calmness and allowing myself more grace as well as allowing others more grace Okay, so as a person, <laughs> I can be very, very hasty, okay? I can also be really quick-tempered, meaning, listen, if you hurt me or you say something to me that rubs me off the wrong way or hurt somebody that I love, I will be that person that will rip you a new one. I will be that person that will write you that long text message that will have you rethinking your entire life. That's me. Okay. And also like even with my conversations with people, and this is so, it's, it's, it's crazy to me, you know, now that I'm like sitting here and actually thinking back, but even in my conversations with people, like if you're, tell, if you're, if I'm having a conversation with you and it could even be about your life or it could be about my life, whatever, and you're saying something that doesn't, just doesn't align with my thought process, I'm the person that will cut you short and be like, listen, no, don't even talk about that. I don't want to hear about that. And then I'll be like, this is what you should do, this, 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 and this. Now, it came from, it was coming from a good place because I just used to feel like, but why are you thinking like this? Like, why, why would you even be doing this? Even with situations that don't even concern me, I'm just like, you could do better. Like, why aren't you doing like this? But it's, I guess it's just the manner in which I came up, in, in which I went about it that right now I'm realizing like that was an issue. Okay. Um, I definitely could have approached it a little bit more with a little bit more calmness. I could have listened a little bit more. And I'm learning also that the more you listen, the more you actually learn um, about somebody and how they act. And you probably can even advise them better. And also not everything requires my response. I don't need to rip everybody a new one. Like at the end of the day, I'm just realizing that everybody functions differently and everyone has a different approach to things and i need to learn that it's okay if people don't approach things the way i approach things or the way i want them to approach things it's okay everyone has a different personality type and just a different approach altogether and so really sitting down and realizing that that was a problem that's not easy for me and i'm still working through that you if you catch me on a bad day especially now i feel like i'm so protective of like my growth journey that i could still get there with you if you're trying to tug at my peace right now i can still get there but i'm definitely more conscious of it and i'm just realizing that not everything requires a response from me. The other day I booked a hair appointment and I wanted to go get my hair done. The girl lived like almost an hour away from me. I booked to pay the deposit online. It was Saturday evening and then the day of literally 30 minutes to my appointment, she texts me, no remorse, no apology, nothing. And she goes, um, I can't do your hair today anymore. Can you come tomorrow? This is somebody that I've never met. She's never done my hair and I'm already out, okay? Because I was planning to go do my hair. So I was already out. I already took out whatever I had on. And I was like, no, I already, you know, planned on getting my hair done today. I can't come tomorrow. And I'm calling her. She doesn't pick up. And then she just responds to me with a text and goes, I'm not there. And I was like, okay. But I don't know. Like, I just responded. And I was like, okay, well, will I get my deposit back? And I think she said, yeah, I'll send it. Literally sent me one line words, no apology, nothing. 
And I remember sending a screenshot of that conversation to one of my friends. I was honestly like, I was so just thrown off that day because I had already planned like so much on doing my hair today. I planned so much content um, based on getting my hair done that day. So it really did affect me. Like I was not in a great mood, but I just didn't even, you know, I just responded. I was like, okay, thanks. Then I sent the screenshot to my friend and she was like, what? You were so calm. Like you should have done more. You should have done that. And trust me, me, Titi, you don't have to tell me to do that. That, like, <laughs> the normal me, I will, I would already have a paragraph, you know, I would have sent it. But then now looking back, I didn't even think much of it at that time. I just realized I just didn't want to, I just was not interested. But now looking back, I'm realizing that, wow, <laughs> wow, I really have changed. But now I'm like, it really wasn't worth it because guess what would have happened? I would have sent her a long message. She would have responded with something else. We would have gone back and forth. My, I'll be so heated up. I'll be so upset. My whole day, the next day probably will be ruined from off of that one conversation. And to what end? She's still not going to do my hair. It doesn't change anything. So I just realized that it doesn't, not everything requires my energy. Like I just, I was like, I, I, I use that energy for something else. So yeah, just little things like that, that I'm learning about myself and I'm like, like, yeah, I, this is just not worth it. And then also I read this book at the end of last year. Oh, I have to grab it. Hold on. So I feel like my first point is already so long, but I read this book. Um, it is titled The Road Back to You. It's an Enneagram. Enneagram? I, can't, I don't know how to say that word, but I'll put it on the screen. It's a um, like a personality type type of like system and so it's a journey to self-discovery but what i really liked about it because i've done a lot of personality type like research just from being in school but i never did anything like this we didn't do anything like this but what i liked about it was there was just something about the way it was worded and the way it was explained that even as i'm reading and i'm learning more about my what it says my personality type is like it was making sense and I was understanding more about my behaviors, but also I read about other people and it just clicked something in me and it just made me realize that, listen, bottom line is everybody processes things differently. Everyone acts differently based on their background, based on their environment, what they're exposed to, what they're allowing to this, their sub subconscious. Like everyone just does things differently, okay? And I just need to allow people way more grace than I currently do. So I'm gonna move on to the next point because that first point, I was just on it for so long, but that's a big one for me, trust me. Even if you know me in person, like everybody knows. <sighs> I am, I can be like that, okay? But um, I'm definitely practicing more calmness and just being giving people more grace, giving myself more grace too. Even when I like don't hold tape, say I have a goal and I don't, you know, meet up with it, I'm giving myself more grace and yeah. All right, so let's move on to the second point, protecting my mindset and being mindful of what I consume and allow in my space. And this is also another big one that I feel like a lot of people should really be conscious of, even with what we watch on TV. I was watching a girl's YouTube video and she was talking about how she used to, for a season, she was really into the Real Housewives um, of this, Real Housewives of that. And if you watch um, those shows, you know that it they, they're fun, you know, they're a good like pastime, but there are times when it can get so heated where they're like going after each other and like just being really just snappy. And she said that she was so into it that she didn't realize that it was actually starting to have an effect on how she was engaging in conversations with people, meaning she was going around ready to fight somebody. Like she was like, it seemed so normal to her. And then after a while of doing that, she just realized she was like, why am I in such a ready to fight mood? And she realized, she was like, I, like that was, it was the show. And so you really don't realize how big of a deal the things that you allow into your subconscious and just like indulge in can affect your, uh, your personality and just how you approach life. And then also along the lines of just protecting my mindset and what I allow in is how I consume social media. So I am a content creator. I post on social media. You know, you start to follow so many people, you know, somebody will go viral, you follow them. But as I started to follow, 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 now that I'm going through this growth journey, I'm starting to see a lot of people um, on my timeline that just don't align with 
who I am right now and who I'm trying to be. And because of that, like even when I get on my, my Instagram now, like it's so crazy. I don't even like to scroll on my Instagram anymore because there's just a lot of noise it's so all over the place i wish i was starting my instagram today because the people that i would try to follow and it's not even something personal about the actual people but it's just like the stuff that i want to like i want to allow into my mind and just like my mindset i want more of that right now i'm really just trying to keep my focus and just see what i need to be seeing that's it and so i did do a oh, well let's just move on to the next point because this point is already getting long but um to help with that i did do a little social media declutter and my next point is decluttering and clearing out unnecessary junk so i did do a little social media declutter last year i think it was early this year actually i did unfollow a couple of people that were just like yeah there was no this is definitely just a no-no it wasn't honestly it wasn't so much anything personal like about them but it was just me like i'm like okay i know this is not going to this is not helping me and so i did do a little bit of that and i feel like i would just have to keep doing that per periodically yeah periodically i just have to keep doing that um just because like i want to be able to get on my social media and want and scroll and just be inspired and just have it be what i want to see right now and yeah so that was something that i did that i feel like is, was really helpful and then also just decluttering even in my physical space like where i'm deciding who i want to be as i'm moving forward and i look at i looked at my closet i look at a lot of clothes that i bought in the past they just don't reflect who i want to be so i just had to allow myself not to be that person that was holding on to a bunch of stuff just because maybe I spent so much money on it or just because I used to care about it um, or just to feel like I have stuff. Like I'm just getting to the point where I'm okay with not having a lot. Like I would rather have little that all means something to me than to have just a lot, just appear like, oh, I have a lot, but then it's all just like junk, you know? And so I definitely did that declutter. And what I find is that I actually dress better. Like I love my style like i feel like i'm figuring out my style like i dress better it doesn't take me as long to get dressed but then also my space just feel light it just feels light it just doesn't feel like heavy make sure this thing's recording um my space just doesn't feel like heavy or packed or anything like that so yeah like decluttering is a big one but i'm definitely i will always be doing that that's the more i grow the more i evolve the more i will see something that just doesn't align anymore so what point are we on? We're on the fourth point. Okay, we are moving along. So my fourth point is quality over quantity in all areas. This is similar to decluttering um, in the sense that it can be applied to everything. It really can. Um, start with friendships. I started to value more of a smaller friend group. I would rather have one or two friends that I know are like my ride or die than to have 20 friends that are using my life as a um a tv show reality tv show like they just want to hear everything that i have going on just so they can turn around and have the conversation with the other 10 people in the friend group i just don't have the time for it plus like i feel like i'm so busy these days that i don't have time to actually manage a lot of relationships i just don't have time like even my one two friends we don't even talk as much as I would like us to talk just because I'm so just tunnel vision right now. I'm so focused on like everything I have going on. So I can't imagine trying to keep up with like 20 deep friendships, deep in quote. I, no, like how do people have that energy? I don't have it. Now I know, I understand what to expect from certain relationships. I know a lot of people, um, I have a lot of different relationships, but everybody is here for a different reason. It's not, I'm not going to get the same level. I have the same level of intimacy with every single person that I know. So just understanding whatever it is, whatever my, the friendship is for what it is. I love that. If I'm on vacation and I meet somebody and we have a good time, you know, we hang out. It doesn't mean from then on, we need to be best friends. No, like it, I understand it for what it is. And We'll keep it moving if the friendship evolves from there great but I, you don't need to i don't need to force anything um and just it will happen naturally you know when it will and so yeah choosing quality over quantity even with my content um i would rather post one video on social media a week where i feel like it's actually quality i actually want to put something out there that I don't know like i just feel great about 
instead of just trying to race against the algorithm and just want to post every single day like i'm just at a point where i'm like listen i'm doing this job and i know that i'm in here another thing that i want to throw in here really quick is naturally i'm a very private person i'm a very very private person so it's so crazy to me that the job that kind of the career that kind of fell in my lap and that i actually do love is something that requires me to actually talk to people share about my life beyond camera and so the only explanation i can have for that is that there's a reason for that like there's something that i need to be sharing with people that would be helpful would be impactful to somebody in some way and so i'm really taking my time to really think about what that content is and just put it out there on my own time i don't know i'm just not in a rush you know that rush there was a rush that was just this rush culture, I, that, I'm just not, I don't, I'm not in a rush for anything anymore. Like I'm pretty happy and just pretty content with my progress, my growth, just where I'm at right now. I'm just not in a rush. And so yeah, quality over quantity, it doesn't matter. You know, I would rather just have my quality content than to be posting <sighs> 10 times a week. <laughs> okay. So my next point, um, prioritizing self-care and mental health. I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Like if you are paying attention, you can definitely see that I am doing that. I mean, I created a whole channel that's dedicated to self-care. So that is saying a lot, but that's also another thing that I never thought about. Like take care of myself. What, what is that? But now that I actually started putting effort into taking care of myself. And when I say self-care, it's all areas. Like, I mean, I've talked, I've touched a little bit on it, but like mental self-care, physically, my body, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. Like I'm really looking at every single area of my life and I'm looking for way, looking at ways that I can take care of myself better. I can care for myself better. And there's also something about taking care of yourself that if you are not able to operate at your highest level, you're not even doing, you're doing a disservice to the people that are around you because who knows what your highest, the highest level of yourself um, you might have something that somebody else needs and you're not even allowing yourself to get there because you're so stressed, you're so tired, you're not confident, you're not exploring your spirituality. Like you're just not even working yourself enough to be what somebody else needs, that blessing to somebody else, but also that blessing to yourself. And so taking care of myself is just right now, like it's so important to me. I'm just... <sighs> I love this for me. I love this journey that I'm on for me. So it's definitely something that I feel like everybody, like everybody will benefit from doing it. Trust me, you're not, it doesn't matter how much you feel like you enjoy being a giver. You want to give, give, give to other people. If you're not taking care of yourself, you're not doing enough. Um, I hope this lighting is not too dark already, but yeah, if you're not giving back to yourself, you're not even doing enough for the people in your life because you're not operating at your best self. That's just the best way that I could think about it. Oh, this is a, this is a big one. So reigniting my relationship with God. Listen, I can go on and on and on about every single thing else that I've talked about, but at the center of it all is this point. This is my point number six, and it's probably the biggest one. Just re like t taking hundred steps back and walking all the way back to God <laughs> and just coming back and saying, Lord, I give it all to you. I give you all of the control, okay? Whoa, the sun keeps going in and out, okay. But just doing that because I realized that what I have done over the past couple of years is at first I got in the car with God and we were he was driving and I was like, yes, everything's great. But the older I got, I was like, okay, I know better now, you know? And so I was like, step aside, step aside. Just get on the driver's seat, get in the driver's seat. I'm getting the pa passenger seat. I'm going to drive now. And then I started driving the car to my life. <laughs> and then I started driving the car to my life. But what, <laughs> what happened as I did that is that I started getting it. I would hit traffic. I would hit portholes. I would hit, there was construction on the road. And these are all things that God already knows, like the back roads that I could have gone through already has like the, the master GPS knows how I, I could have gone to certain places like on time. But I'm over here just thinking, oh, I know the way, I know the way, and just kept driving. 
<sighs> Listen, and I have learned the hard way that it's just not worth it. Okay. It's just not worth it. I am definitely retracing my steps back and just coming back and just saying, God, Jesus, take the wheels. <laughs> Seriously, like there's no better way to put it. Just that's it. Okay. And then I just wanted to, if you've noticed all the points that I've talked about so far, it all deals with just being in, oh, my camera's going to die. Hold on. Okay. So all of the points that I've talked about so far, it all deals with becoming intentional and holding yourself accountable. Okay. If you're able to start being intentional, even as you're, you know, making these, creating new, these new goals for yourself, building these new habits, these new routines, whatever it is you're doing, if you become intentional with it, that means you're deliberately doing things that now align with who you are trying to be and you're holding yourself accountable as you're doing it. That's like, that's just a big tip right there. That's the biggest thing you can ever do right there. And I might do some things, maybe if you watch my videos, I might do some things, maybe getting up, getting active, um, taking a wellness shot. I might do some things that seem like they're trendy, but the difference between the me that's doing it now and the me that would do would have done it in the past is the intentionality behind my doing it. Okay. Like, I'm doing it right now and I know how it aligns to my goals. I don't have a problem with trends, okay? Trends, I feel like they're actually kind of good because they help call your attention to something that maybe you wouldn't have thought about. But if you're able to take a trend and you personalize it and you make it fit into your life and your goals, that's when you fit jackpot. If you're hopping on a trend without even having an understanding of how it fits into your life, what you want from it, then when the trend, you know, moves, trends come and go, when the trend goes, you're just going to hop on to the next one. So you have no real growth, even from the previous uh, thing that was trending. So that's how I feel about it. Like if something is trending and I look at it, I'm like, oh, this is how I could adopt this and fit it into my goals. The difference is that I am standing firm in what I want. Like I know what I want. I know what I'm working towards. If I try anything, it's either it fits or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I will take it out. Like that's it. And so... It's just that having intentionality that a lot of this is centered around you guys. Like I am so, I look at myself right now and I'm looking at myself in 2021 and I'm such a different person. I'm such a different person. Like I cannot even, I wish I could like open up my heart and you can just see the inside and just see like the different, like it's just so crazy. And I'm telling you all of it, it's just First, it started with me sitting down, getting to know myself, not just not trying to deceive myself. And I'm still working on it. You, know, I'm still a work in progress. I'm like I was telling you guys in a previous video. Like I, that's why I love that I created this channel because it's almost like this channel will push me to try to continue working on myself. And I'm also excited to be able to share it with you guys, even as I'm improving myself because. I, I feel like somebody out there would be able to learn from it and just also this will be valuable to somebody else out there. So you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't rambling on too much. I tend to do that as well, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any thoughts of your own, leave a comment and just let's chat in the you know comment section. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. If you're not yet a part of the family, go ahead and subscribe. You're going to love it here. We're all about sharing tips to help you look, feel, and perform your very best. But that's pretty much it for this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in another video. <laughs>